All right, Faith. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a month or probably two months two. now. Yeah, two months since you've been here. Uh, lots has gone on in your life since then, right? Yeah. Tell me what's going on. I'm trying to get back into school. I'm staying back at my dad's house. You're staying with your dad in California City? Yeah. But I stay in like an RV in the backyard. Like I don't stay in the house. Is that safe for you? My boyfriend's there, so yeah. Okay. That's good. So you left LA? Yes. Um, on, on what terms? You, I mean, you left because you had to or you wanted to? or Just because it's too much. <laughs> I don't know, just a lot of drama. You're getting in a lot of trouble down here? Yeah. Yeah, the big city is hard for a small town girl. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the baby, how's the baby? I lost the baby. You lost the baby? Yeah. I'm sorry. So it's gotta be disappointing. Yeah, my boyfriend, D'Angelo, was shot. And then the day after he was arrested, and then two days after that, I lost the baby. Oh, wow. It was a rough week. He, got, he was shot? Yeah, he got shot in the shoulder and in the lung. It's a rough neighborhood down there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one other thing, one other detail that we didn't mention that first talk is that your, your age is actually 18, not 16. Yes. You were, a lot of the girls will lie about their age for different reasons. We, we don't need to ask why, but, <laughs> but you're actually 18. Yes, I'm 18. And um, so you're living in California. See, what are, your, what are your plans now? Well, I'm trying to find a school like in Riverside. So once I find a school, I'm going to set everything up. I'm just trying to like sit somewhere where I don't have to pay rent or nothing so I can save up my own money and go get my own spot when I do find a school. Are you still working? On and off a little bit in Bakersfield, not out here anymore. Yeah, okay. So Bakersfield has still got a market for that kind of work. Yeah. And uh, what do you want to do with, if you go to school, what would you like to study, what would you like to do? I'm going to study social work okay, and so I'm going to be a victim's advocate. That's right. You talked about that last time. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me about the crystal meth use. Are you still using that or? No, not really. But after I lost the baby, I was using it because my boyfriend was still in jail. But since he's been out now. Mm -hmm. And he got out on the second. So you were, you were in L.A. working Figueroa Street for how long? Like three months. Three months. And what's, what, what, what's your view of it after that little stint? It's burnt out. L.A. is burnt out. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, it's just bullshit. Like, I don't know. Just drama and nonsense. A lot of drama, a lot of nonsense for sure. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a rough way to go through life. Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine doing that for longer than three months. I can't imagine doing it. Period. But the longer you're down there, the more you kind of get yeah. stuck in that in that world, and you don't know any way out, right? Yeah. A lot of people have been doing it for decades. It's sad. Yeah. And where do you think you guys will settle down? Huh? Where would you guys settle down? Would you move to another city or? Wherever I find a school. And D'Angelo is working, he's not working? He's, well, you know, he's, I just I got a flyer. But... Yeah, I just got a flyer for him to apply for a job, so. Because somewhere in Cal City right now is hiring and that's where we're at right now. Yeah. I would have him go work with my uncle because my uncle owns a fencing company and my dad works with him. But he can't lift anything right now because no, he was right. shot. Yeah. Would you ever come back to L.A.? Maybe to visit, but not to stay. Yeah. Too fast? Huh? Too fast? What do you mean? I mean, just it's a, it's a, it's a fast lifestyle. Yeah. A lot of drugs, a lot of, a lot of gangs, a lot of all. A lot of temptations. A lot of temptations, yeah. Is it easier for you up there? In California City? Yeah, because nobody I know lives out there anymore. <laughs> and are drugs available up there too? They're kind of available everywhere, right? Yeah, but not like in like a big city, you know? Like we're a very preserved city, like there's nothing out there. And you have siblings? Yes, I have three sisters and one brother. So you, are you I actually just found my brother on Facebook. 
and we've been talking. Oh, is that right? And your sisters are with you? No, my one of my two of my sisters are in CPS custody in Orville, California, and my other sister is in Oklahoma with her mom. And my mom is about to get out of prison in Missouri and get a house out there. Would you go live with her? Is that a possibility? Um, she said uh, she would contact me when she was out for me to come visit. Hmm. And your your sisters are in CPS custody because of why? Because my mom already had a case open with them, but they took the kids from her and gave them to their father. And their father got into a car accident not long after he got them. And he died. And then, but before that, my mom kidnapped the kids from him. And she got caught and they charged her with kidnapping. Wow. Lots of drama in your family. A lot. <laughs> like it's all drama. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel like the way you grew up, you know, with all the, the, the sexual abuse and just, you know, parents in prison and things like that, do, do you see that that made a, a difference in how you, the situation you're in today? Kind of, You yeah. don't know anything different because that's all you know. But Yeah. But it, it's, it's not a conventional. I think it makes me want to do better. For That's myself. Great. Yeah, you, you said some of that in the first talk. Yeah. It's, a, it's admirable that you want to try to... Because everybody's, like, set on me being like them because that's all I know. Yeah, nobody takes somebody... And to, I just want to prove everybody wrong. That's, that's, that's a great motivation. And sometimes it takes that kind of thinking to... Uh, just to change the uh, pattern of families that just keep repeating the same... Yeah, breaking the cycle. Break the cycle, yeah. It's wonderful. I hope, I hope you're successful. Do you want to have kids one day? We're still trying. Yeah. You're, you're young yet. You can have, <laughs> you have plenty of decades to do that. Was D'Angelo actually your pimp, or would you say he was No, he was your my boyfriend. boyfriend. He's just a boyfriend, because a lot of pimps are boyfriends. So it was, I it, know. It was very vague. But, but if it, he was a pimp, he wouldn't be with me now, because I'm not a hoe. Right. I don't, I'm not working like that anymore. Well, a little bit. A little bit, but not but, enough to but keep not, not, a pimp around. Right, 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 right. So, so that makes him look, yeah, look better because he looked like another, <laughs> just another boyfriend on Figueroa Street. Yeah. So he seems like a better guy than I first presumed. <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, it's like you know, I'm just going by what I hear, and what I hear from most of these guys is that they're they're boyfriends. Yeah. You know, so that's good for you. That's good for you. You guys gonna get married? We are. He already asked my dad for permission. Oh, congratulations. That's great. Very exciting. Yes. Well, Faith, I'm glad you came back. It's nice to hear some progress in your story. I'm sorry you lost the baby, but I think there's all kinds of uh, wonderful things that can happen for you, especially if you go in this direction. I don't think I was ready. I think God just wanted me to see my opportunities before giving me a child. Hmm. Yeah, you're still learning lessons. <laughs> yeah. What, what, have you, what, what, what have you learned lately? From your experience in LA, what have you learned? Life isn't all about just looking cool and pretty and making people like you. It's about liking yourself and making sure you're okay mm -hmm. before anybody else. That's a good one. That's great. All right, Faith, thank you for coming by again. I wish you the best of luck with school and, and marriage and everything else. Thank you. Thank you very much.